welcome to another edition of Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. I am Denise Barnes. Joining me today is a native of Nashville, Tennessee, Nicole Harrison. She's always been possessed with the gift of gab, a larger than life personality, and she's lovable at the same time. Welcome, Nicole Harrison. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having me, Denise. I'm glad to be here. You're welcome. Nicole, first let's begin our conversation by talking about your business, Harrison Innovative Promotions or HIPS. Mm -hmm. How did this, what's the inspiration behind your business? And tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, well thank you. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's Harrison's Innovative Promotions mm -hmm. and we've been in business now for about four years actively working as a, a full-fledged company. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really behind the business is really my desire to be able to do things that are fun, to do things that are new, and as the name Innovative says, to be ahead of the curve. Okay. And um, obviously we adopted our last name to be a part of that. And um, out of necessity actually is where the business began to evolve. Um, I had done different things in the past with multi-level marketing and direct sales companies and really did well with those companies, mm -hmm. but, but felt like I needed to do more for my family to where we could bring more monies home and have more control over what I'd like to do. Okay. And um, with that happening, HIPS was born with um, the fact we had a, a really bad car accident and I was put in bed rest for six months. Oh, no walking, no weight bearing. Mm -hmm. and in that time period, I, I really became even more unhealthy than I was prior to that accident. Mm -hmm. um, my weight increased to well over 400 pounds. Wow. And with that weight increase, a lot of depression came on mm -hmm. and even more bad habits. I see. So uh, a friend of mine approached me and said, you know, you always give great ideas. You always give people great resources. Why don't you take your own medicine and do that for yourself? Exactly. And so I chose to do that. I used the internet as my basis to communicate with people, mm -hmm. um, to begin online chats, and to begin um, sending out information about things that I thought were important at the time. I started a blog. Okay. Um, it was called Hourglass Honesty. Okay. And it was being honest about the hourglass figure that people would talk about or what people thought was a normal body size. Because well, I was, an ideal name for your website. Thank yes. you. It, it, it was. Mm -hmm. And so as, as that began to, to evolve, um, my husband was like, you know, you do a lot of help with people. You spend a lot of time for research. Mm -hmm. But you really don't make any money with that. You spend a lot of time. Do they know how much time you're really investing to give them the best deals mm -hmm. or to give them the best resources? And I said, no, but I'll enjoy doing it. Absolutely, yes. So um, with that, I began to dabble in the travel industry okay. and did a lot of concierge work for ones and um, that got me really excited about being able to live vicariously through other people's mm -hmm. dreams for vacations. Okay. So with that, um, there were different things that this company offered to us mm -hmm. and there were many perks. So I started working with those perks and decided that I would step out on my own mm -hmm. and begin to offer health wellness and balance through my business mm -hmm. and with doing that I thought I could reach more people by creating those events instead of waiting for them to ask for me to do one for them personally. So you took the initiative and you decided to start, do it, start doing it just for yourself and other people. Yes. So you had the great personality as I said earlier you are a people person when I first met you I really felt as if I'd known you longer than what I had. I've heard that many yes. times before it, mm -hmm. and that comes from my family upbringing, mm -hmm. um, very Christian devoted household mm -hmm. and we, we don't meet strangers and we, we try to give people what we expect back from, from our family, from our friends and, and even people we've just met. Absolutely. And yes. it comes out in our business but it comes out more so genuinely mm -hmm. because that, that is my makeup. Okay. And I enjoy being able to make people happy. Very important that you enjoy what you do because as you mentioned, your husband said you weren't making any money at first, but it's good that you enjoyed it. That was your passion mm -hmm. in the beginning. Now, you, you spoke earlier about the different marketing events that you have. Yes. Talk to us about this event that's coming up. June Is it June 14th through the 16th? It's actually June 14th through the 15th. Through the 15th. Yes. Tell um, us a little more about that. This is um, really near and dear to me. Um, as I spent, mentioned before, I've worked in many different companies before trying to find my niche or what I felt like I was good at. Mm -hmm. And I've been told many times that uh, I did very well at certain things. Mm -hmm. 
and there were so many of them, yes. 10, 20, 30 I things understand. out there. Yes. And, it, and it became confusing to the ones about what I actually did. So um, with Harrison's Innovative Promotions, I chose the last word, promotions, because I could change what I wanted to promote mm -hmm. or what I wanted to stand for at any given time. Okay. So if I found something that was new, I wasn't put in a box to only be able to promote or talk about one, one thing. thing. Exactly. And so um, with that, I've taken many notes about things that impressed me and different uh, questions that people would ask me in different con consultations that we had. And it led me to see a common thread with many women that they wanted to have a business. They wanted to have some type of foundation that they could offer to their family outside of being quote unquote the mother. The mother, absolutely yes. And I always thought the way that I was brought up that that was a very significant role, the nurturing role, mm -hmm. the, the giving of what we had, mm -hmm. and then teaching how to use that in the workforce. Mm -hmm. So many of the women that I've talked to and helped with their business being built, um, I said, well, why don't you do a workshop for that? Mm -hmm. So I started doing many workshops throughout the Nashville area, Madison, Hendersonville, and had very good turnout. But it's only one of me. Exactly. And I found that I was traveling in a day's time anywhere from 75 to 100 miles. Wow, um, really? Doing these workshops, yes, ma'am. We were very busy with very those busy. workshops. Yes. And we would do them at the noon time, mm -hmm. and I um, named them Lunch and Learn. Okay. And then we went from lunch and learn to launch to from launch and learn to launch and learn. I see. And so we would get in people to see that there was more than just talking about what you wanted to do, but put action behind Putting it. Putting action behind it. That's very, very important, Nicole. Because I always say if you if you've got a passion to do something, it's your baby. But yes. you've got to nurture that baby as you mentioned. Yes, so mm -hmm. true. So it derived into us doing Women Embracing Business or Welcome to the Web. Okay. And I was so excited about that coming to me in my sleep or my half sleep as I put it. Mm -hmm. And my husband's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to hold a conference. If I can get the word out to enough women to let them know that if they feel like they want to learn about business, mm -hmm. if they would like to see someone else that has a level of success right here in their area, I believe I can bring these women together. And it's been about a year and a half process where I've been mm -hmm. uh, collecting the different data that I thought would need to be presented, looking for those specific women who could come out and be speakers, mm -hmm. and then look at the different questions and the different um, things that people were saying that they needed that could reach out to a group. Yes. And uh, we are going to present that to the Nashville area on June 14th. And a networking event that first evening, we're going to do a kickoff so all the small business owners that are in the area, brick and mortar, mm -hmm. those who even are managers at franchises and, and um, chain companies, we're inviting those women to come out mm -hmm. and to network and see how we can establish that bond to build our businesses and then have that sense of balance. What a great idea. Thank What's you. the location? It is going to be held at the Patricia Hart Building mm -hmm. or better known as the 50 Forward Building. It's located at 174 Rains Avenue, mm -hmm. Nashville, Tennessee, and the zip is 37203. Okay. This is going to be an excellent event. I do hope to take part in it or just attend it and or cover it as well. Now, Nicole, for those viewers out there who may be looking for something uh, that's interesting and exciting, uh, talk to us about Genovia mm -hmm. Coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Genovia Coffee is one of the uh, perks that was offered through uh, one of the companies that I buy wholesale products from. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason why it was near and dear to me was because I had a, a very strong addiction to caffeine mm -hmm. and a stronger addiction to caffeine related to Coke products or oh, to so soda products. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that I did have to let go of when I changed my lifestyle, my eating habits. And um, this coffee has antioxidants in it. Mm -hmm. um, Ganoderma mushroom, cordyceps, and goji berries. Okay. And Everyone hear those names and are like, what does that mean? What is that exactly? What it means to me is a faster metabolism, a curved appetite, mm -hmm. and a healthier choice in my drink. And it gives me the energy that I need without a plummet. Oh, right. And I've been mm -hmm. drinking that now for three and a half years. And all of my events will feature this coffee. Okay. Um, whether people are coffee drinkers or not, they generally will even be attracted to it because of the health benefits mm -hmm. if they just drink one mm -hmm. serving. 
So um, all the events, whether we're doing a pampering party, mm -hmm. whether we're doing our larger expos and events, mm -hmm. we feature that coffee there. Okay, and and so many people are addicted to caffeine. Yes. Uh, heavy cokes. I know I'm a heavy coke drinker, so I really am interested in this Genovia coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker at all, Nicole. And that's that's quite all right. One of the things that I, I've also done is I consider myself my own personal barista. Mm -hmm. um, I had to save myself money when I decided that I was going to change my lifestyle, and I had to save myself some calories. I and see, yes. so I uh, formulated different recipes for the coffee, and then we've even had a line come out that includes a, a cocoa. Okay. So you can have that for those who like a hot beverage but not necessarily coffee. Okay. Again with us is Nicole Harrison. She is the CEO of HIPS. Again, Harrison Innovative Promotions. Yes, ma'am. Nicole, talk to us a little bit more about this. Um, you just mentioned the event that's coming up in June. Yes. Any other particular events you'd like my viewers to know about? Actually, there are. Okay. Um, on tomorrow, we're actually hosting an, another Pamper with a Purpose. That's one of our signature um, meetings and groups that we like to host. Mm -hmm. And it's open to both men and women and children okay. to come in, spend a few hours, and have the pampering done. Uh, we serve lunch, and um, you can choose from four or five different elements of mini massage or pampering with the mm -hmm. nails and hands. Wow. And then I have very small business owners that come in and take the opportunity to let you know about their product and you have an opportunity to purchase from them. Mm -hmm. And I always say I want things to be fun. Absolutely, and, yes. Um, we always have some element of entertainment. I keep that as a surprise. Okay. And um, the packages begin at $50 and can range up to as high as you like them to be depending on what your choices are. Okay. And then um, we tell people even if you don't have that specific package price come out, there are a lot of things that we offer that are of no cost and that you don't necessarily have to do it that day, you can set up an appointment for later. Okay. And then, um, more specifically, um, we have events that are hosted now at the Governor's Square Mall mm -hmm. in Clarksville, Tennessee. Okay. We do two events every month. Um, we are always looking for those who are in the music industry, who are spoken word, who are looking for modeling opportunities, and um, they can call my company and we can set them up to be one of our feature events at those expos that we do at Governor's Square Mall. Nicole, you have provided some very interesting information, great opportunities for all of my viewers to come out and enjoy and have an exciting time, as you said. What is the website or any contact information that you can provide? Okay. Our website is www.hipshelp, the number four, the letter U, dot com. And spelled out is H-I-P-S-H-E-L-P, mm -hmm. the number four, the letter U, dot com. And our phone number is 615-891-3280. All right. Sounds good. Again, Nicole Harrison, HIPS, and that's uh, Harrison Innovative Promotions. Yes, it is. Nicole, thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.